Hi YouTube, welcome to ME Academy Python for Penetration Testers tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to parse user arguments using the opt parse module. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, uh, let me give a quick demo of it. So you might have used uh, some tools or utilities that gives you the options to use them if you type in help. So let's say that there's a well, there's a tool in pa in uh, Kali Linux called Mac Changer. It changes your Mac address. Uh, so if you type in dash h it gives you this help information and if you type something like dash dash help it gives you all these information the same information so it says uh, you can either type in dash h or dash dash help and it will print the help and now you can also print in dash v or dash v dash two dashes and the version to uh, print the version and exit so if you want to learn how to do it in python then watch this tutorial in this tutorial i will show you guys how to do this now if you haven't watched my previous tutorials what i have done in those tutorials is that i have created a simple script to change your mac address it's not as advanced as this one the mac changer tool on kali linux but i started from the beginning and i keep improving upon it with each tutorial and in this tutorial i will show, show you guys how to uh, add this help to that tool so let me go to let me first clear the screen quickly and documents mac changer and let me open this mac changer 04 pi so this is the tool that i have been working with so the first thing that i am doing is that um, i'll just quickly go over this code in case you haven't watched my previous tutorial but still if you don't understand it don't worry watch my previous tutorials and you will understand what this script does so first i'm importing this uh, module sub process then I'm taking the user input and saving it to these two variables. And then I change, uh, I print out this line and then I run this command, if config interface name down. And then I run this command and at the end I again, bring it up. So in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to add the help. So right now, let's say you want to change your MAC address with this tool. What you have to do is you have to type in something like, uh, so before I do that, uh, let me quickly show you guys this if config eth0 so currently this is my mac address now i want to change it so you currently with this tool what you can do is if you type in something like this it will ask me for my interface name so if i type in eth0 and for the interface name let's say 001122 and then 111111 so it says that it change, the mac address has been changed and if i do if config eth0 again now you can see that my mac address has changed but the thing with this script is that it takes the um, it run we run the script and it prompts the user for this. But what if we want to give this uh, interface name and the MAC address as an argument? So what if we want to do something like um, this? MAC is equal to like zero zero one one something like this, and also the same for uh, interface is equal to et zero and things like that. What if we want to do that? So let me quickly make a copy of this and let's change it and make a new one and let's open this new file and work on it so the first thing we don't need these three lines they were commented out i forgot to just remove them in the previous tutorial now what we have to do first is that we have to first import the op parse module so that's the important part so first it's imported so it's import the name of the module is opt parse next what we do is that we create an object of the option parser class um, so let's call it the reader this is the name of the object and uh, opt parse dot option and then parser so what does it mean so we are uh, in here we have imported the opt parse module which is this in here and we are using this we are creating an object of this class called option parser and this object is called reader by default this class can't do anything so we have to create an object of it so this object in here is called reader and this reader in here it will contain whatever this class returns so these two in here you can see that these two variables they hold whatever the user types and the same way this reader variable or the reader object holds whatever this option parser returns so currently it doesn't return anything so in here let's first in the options so uh, let's say reader dot add option for the option we want to have dash i 
and also dash dash interface and then we are saying if the user types these things whatever comes after it it should go to the interface variable so in here it's interface and then the help so what do we want the user to see so we say interface name now what does it do so if the user types in the either dash i or dash dash um, interface it will save it in the interface variable so this is the variable uh, to which it will be saved now let me open this and again uh, let's run this mac changer dash dash help so we are seeing dash uh, for example there is dash h and dash dash help right so we are doing the same we are saying prompting uh, the user to show this in here i and interface and help it will show you whatever is in there i shouldn't have closed it that quickly so let me show you my changer dash dash help so these two options uh, these are the options that will be uh, that the user can use to enter input and then this is the help print this help so this is the same as this in here so this is what the user will see and uh, next let add, let's add in another option so we say uh, reader add underscore option this time we say it is dash m and also we want to have this dash dash mac address or let's just call it uh, new mac oh, sorry uh, let's say let's call it something like mac don't worry you can uh, type in um, any name that you want i just want to use a name that is user friendly now it will save it to where this new mac variable so when you say this new mac so whatever the user types it will be saved in this variable new mac and after that we can say help so it will be shown beside these options so we can say that new mac uh, address now once we do that um, what we can do next is that so let me just quickly go over this once again so this is the reader object that we created earlier and now we are using this add option to add options to this uh, object because uh, by default it returns nothing so we are adding these options dash i and dash interface you can use it to set whatever interface you want to type and whatever value that we type it will be so uh, it will be saved inside this variable called interface and then uh, this one you can using the m or dash dash mac uh, you can type in a value which will be saved inside this new mac variable in here so this is the new mac and whatever the user types it will be saved inside this new mac so in here um, what we can do is let me again open this very quickly the mac changer tool so it's mac changer dash dash help and so let's say you want to uh, do something like change your Mac, right? And now in here you can type in, uh, let's say, let me quickly open it. So in here you can see that there is one option uh, that says uh, print the Mac address and exit. Dash 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 H. So in here we can say Mac changer and then dash dash show and we can the name of the interface. So in here uh, we type in this option and then dash dash show and then the uh, interface name so this dash dash this is the key and this ethernet zero this is the value so this argument that we type after that whatever we type this will be the value so this is the argument that we have to type and after this this option that we type this is the value so think of it as the key and this is the value relating to that key so this that's this argument and then there is this that uh, the user types so the argument that is prompted by the program this is the key and whatever the user types it's the value so the same thing goes in here um, on the script so what we can do is that we can uh, say values and next after that what we can say is that we can say keys and then we will what we will do is 
we will parse it so we can say that reader dot parse underscore args so what this will do is that it will parse these arguments and the values that the user types so this uh, method in here parse org it parses the um, whatever the user types and what it will do is it will read it and will act upon it so it will, in this case it will save it to these two variables now in order to save it we have to modify this right so right now it prompts the user but we have to change it so now we are saying uh, saying values dot uh, after that we have to give it the interface so in here we are saying interface values new mac so in here what it does is that uh, you can see that it says the destination is new mac uh, sorry interface and in here it is the new mac so this parser what it does is that it parses it so it parses the user uh, input whatever the user types and it says that to the interface and the new mac variable so this values in here this is whatever the user types the interface name the keys would be the arguments things like interface and mac so these are the arguments the values will be whatever the user type such as ethernet zero or the mac address so we are saying take the values and uh, this interface port which is this one in here so we are saying this interface port from the destination you save it to this variable called interface the same so in here that says the destination is new mac so what you do is you take that and you put it inside this variable and the rest is the same it runs those commands so let's save it and if i do a chi of config eth0 and press enter in here currently my mac address is 001122 in this so let's change it so how do we do that first of all if we type in mac changer 05 and dash dash help it shows me the help so you can see that it says dash help or dash dash help and it gives this message uh, show this help message and exit so this is this has been added by the op parse module this isn't something that we have done then there is a dash i on the interface and dash dash interface and then again interface it says the interface name so this is what we entered and then there is dash mac and new mac and then dash dash mac is equal to new mac and then there is the help that we, uh, we entered into our script so it shows that uh, new MAC address. So you can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Now let's say we want to change the MAC address. How do we do that? So let's say M. So first of all, we have to specify the interface. So interface is ETH0 and the MAC address is 001122. And then let's say it's 222222. And press enter. So you can see that it says changing the MAC address. If I go quickly and see it. So in here, you can see that the MAC address has changed in here zero zero and two 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 previously it was this so it has changed uh, now let's uh, clear the screen and let's run it again this time let's say we want to use the other options so it's mac is equal to dash dash mac and um, dash dash interface is equal to this so if i press enter you can see that why is it giving me so dash dash uh, interface is equal to eth0 and dash dash mac is equal to okay so there is this space it shouldn't be in here so if i press enter you can see that it says the mac address has been changed now quickly if i clear the screen and if i type in ifconfig eth0 you can see that the mac address is still the same so let's make it territory and run it so now you can see that the changes has taken effect and this is how you can use the op parse module to add help to your scripts now this is it for this tutorial guys um, if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it and i will see you guys in the next one